It's the laser based team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. I'm Andrew. I'm Peter. I'm Nate. Yeah. Um, so basically, this is what we call the laser bass, and the goal was to make an instrument that would play like a bass, um, but it wouldn't have any strings. Instead of strings, it has lasers. And instead of a fretboard, we would use this ribbon controller to essentially do the same thing. Really the parts are this guitar neck, um, and then we basically, I built a frame coming off the guitar neck to hold the lasers. Um, and so the lasers aim up into the photo cells, which are here. There's an accelerometer on the back, three FSRs, two. Two, two, working two of which are actually functional at the moment. <laughs> Um, and the ribbon has three sections. Yeah, the ribbon has three sections, two of which are the fretboard and one of which we basically use for, at the moment, a filter uh, resonance. Yeah, filter. Change, filter resonance. Yeah. So what yeah. we wanted like, we wanted to play it to play like a bass, but we didn't want it to be just, just an bass. instrument. We're pleased to get a lot of expressive controls, and even with the accelerometer, some gestural expressive controls that are foreign to an actual bass. Yep. All of the elements are hooked into a breadboard, and then from the breadboard we go into a midi-tron. The battery is powering the midi-tron, and the lasers are powered externally. Yeah, the lasers have to draw more current, and it's not good for the midi-tron, so we have separate adapters, switching adapter that's powering the lasers. But the lasers come in as um, digital inputs, so just a plane on and off, and that just gets kind of filtered through here. So over here we have the lowest string, and that produces an E2. Um, and basically all the other strings come in with a certain increment. Um, in this case it's like a real bass. And then over here we have the two ribbon controllers on the neck, or the sections of the ribbon on the neck. Go and basically here. what they do is you get a reading of the distance of where exactly you're <coughs> interrupting the ribbon, and we scale it so it feels like a fretboard, and we basically at the end produce a number, and that just gets added to the note that was produced by the string. Um, everything else is the expression parts of what we do. What this does is um, it's the filter resonance on a subtractor module on the bass. Yep. And let's see. Yeah. one of the FSRs was um, basically an on and off distortion switch. Right up. That's right there. Okay. Another one of the FSRs connects to a reverb, and what you hear is the dry wet balance. Nice and spaced. Um, what over here, what I call the web engage, is basically the uh, the LFO mount connected, controlled by the, one of the FSRs, and that works in conjunction with the accelerometer we have, which controls um, LFO rate. on how much you told them.